All right, what is going on happening? How's everyone today? My name is Chuck and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, folks, what I got for you guys here is a best setup for the brand new Grav Assault Rifle. I'm gonna keep it a stack. As of right now, it's not necessarily a primary AR that you wanna run as an AR. It's kind of like a hybrid AR SMG. So that's what we're gonna be showing you guys here in today's video. But before any farther, if you guys could do me a favor and break 500 likes on today's video, I'd really appreciate that. And also subscribe to all notifications to turn on. I'm on the road to 800,000 subscribers. With that being said, let's actually get into this. Okay. So so for this grab setup here, I of course have the art deco. This is like the tier 100 variant. I just happen to have the Atlanta face cam on here. But let's actually get into these attachments because like I said, we have to build this kind of like an AR, uh, you know, SMG hybrid. So first thing on here in that muzzle category, you guys can either run the regular suppressor or you can run the agency suppressor. It's kind of a little bit up to you, but I will tell you the agency, you're going to be a little bit slower, but it's going to help you a decent bit more with that recoil control. For me, I can control the recoil pretty well. So because I'm using this as like a hybrid, I'm not using it for super far ranges. I can use the regular suppressor and be entirely okay. And I would suggest that you guys do this if you have good recoil control, but otherwise use the regular agency. Call the day at that. Next up in that barrel section, what we're going to do is we're going to throw on the 21.3 Task Force Barrel, Bullet Velocity, Horizontal Recoil Control, Effective Damage Range, and Vertical Recoil Control. This is, like I said, going to help out quite significantly when making this gun more of a laser beam. So if you combine that with the agency, it's going to be really solid, and I would definitely recommend to do so. There's not really another barrel on here right now that I'd say is going to be good. And even if you try to use this like a primary AR, you're probably still going to want to use the Task Force anyways. This gun just has a decent bit of kick, but it hits really, really hard. So... After that, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight over to the magazine section, skipping the laser and also the under barrel because we don't need one for how we're running this thing. What we're going to do is we're going to neglect to use the 50 round magazine on this and we're going to use the 40 round speed mag. And normally speaking, I wouldn't recommend to use a speed mag, but this gun has a pretty slow reload, to be honest with you. So if you're going to be getting into situations and using this as a hybrid, you definitely want to be able to use the speed mag on this just so you can get like, you know, that ammo capacity and that reload quickness. It definitely comes in clutch more often than not and really, really helped me out. Um, you, I haven't really tested much with this 45 round special mag, though it apparently it does give you reload quickness and hitfire accuracy. I would tend to stray away from this right now because this does decrease your bullet velocity, which is not something you ever want to do in Warzone. Don't want to decrease your bullet velocity, definitely not a good thing. But if you feel like it reloads fast enough, go to 50. If you don't, like kind of like me, use a 40 round speed mag and you'll be good at that. In the rear grip section, we're gonna go for that Serpent Wrap for the increased ADS time. This will negatively affect our sprint to fire time. That's entirely okay, because we're gonna go through and give you guys an attachment that should clear that all up. So after this, we're gonna go into the stock section to finish this whole thing off. And we're gonna use the Raider stock. ADS firing move speed, aim, walking movement speed, and sprint to fire time. Overall, love the Raider stock on this thing. Makes me feel super, super agile. Love that. I, I love feeling mobile when I'm playing Warzone, especially on Rebirth, because I'm using this for those closer quarter situations. Definitely going to give this a try. This gun is definitely not meant to be like a primary AR in any way, shape, or form right now. You're definitely going to have to update it, patch it for whatever. But uh, as of right now, use this as like, you know, a hybrid, you know, sniper, sport, something like that. You're going to have some fun and some success with it. But as a primary, I definitely would not recommend that. Anyways, enjoy the gameplay. Went off and dropped a crazy amount of kills here with this. You're going to enjoy. All right, let's see. Uh... Whoever it is. Oh, wait. Maybe they're ghosted or something because they weren't right on me. Come on, man. This gun feels like pretty good mobility wise, like it strafes really solid. Enemy soldier incoming. Someone just landed in. Nice. These kids are all like way down there. Coming. 
Wait, where'd this kid go? This thing hits really this thing hits really hard. Enemy UAV Get to the target. Let's not do that again. Enemy UAV overhead. Hostile dropping into the area. What Are you gonna try and hold? Oh my god. Let's not do that again. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh my lord, dude. Get recon off. I'm gonna try and get over to that general area where our loadout drop is. I guess I gotta play it up. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Losing ground. Contract is complete. You're cleared for higher payouts. Damn, dude. Team, you have twenty-seven thousand dollars. What? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Enemy UAV overhead. Friendly UAV overhead. I think there's a plate. Uh, I think there's a. There should be a satchel over here if a teammate hasn't taken it. No. Nope. Okay. did take it. Is there. There's not a satchel on this guy. It's fine. I have 10k, so uh, we're in a pretty good spot. Objectives updated. Oh. Move to the next location. You've got a loadout drop in. Right here. Get down. Wait, did I just... I'm gonna mark that up there for him. 
Uh, actually, hold up. Transmitting coordinates for airstrike. This is tracker three one. Good I'm, I'm gonna let them all have that. I will drive. Contact front. Brought some armor. Enemy soldier in conflict. Enemy UAV overhead. No hits on that run. Nice, let's go, baby. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Okay, bad idea. Recon sweep. Losing ground. Come on. Nice. Be advised, friendly precision airstrike is bound. <coughs> loadout drop is the way. Hey, am I chance for another loadout drop? <laughs> teammate, teammate, teammate. No, teammate, come on, man. I have 17. Please, 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 please. Wait, did I just get res? No, they got they res. I can't believe it. I think that's last, right? <coughs> yeah, so I'm about to say, let's go, baby. Holy crap. 18 first game on. Let's go. Hey, that's a good setup. That worked out pretty well. Not as like a primary AR, but as like an SMG and like a hybrid. I guess we finally got like a hybrid here uh, for something in Warzone again. Used to have the XM4 and the AK, and now it's, I guess, the, the brand new Grav. I'll take that.